Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we are gonna learn about the feature of this deep face. Actually, deep face. If you didn't hear, this is a very powerful tool about the face analysis attributes. So if you didn't hear before, you can check this GitHub page and learn about the details. And today we are gonna learn about a topic which is a verifying the faces. What I mean is, uh, for example, you have a reference face in your hand and you want to compare the new coming faces with your reference face. By this you can verify if the new coming face is matching with your reference face or not. This is very important in our world because for example you want to verify the IDs let's say. You are just sending your ID picture and you are uh, then you are opening your camera and is trying to uh, understand it's you, really you or not so in this case uh, verifying the faces these kind of situations coming very important okay and uh, for this purpose we are gonna use deep face and uh, I already installed I don't want to um, install from the scratch for example I all I did is just these three lines you can uh, continue with these three lines and just apply this and it's gonna install successfully nothing else you can also try this but uh, there is also a warning here source code maybe have new features so pip may sometimes not update uh, so I also suggest just apply these three commands it's gonna uh, install properly uh, extra also I installed pip install dlib only I installed just for dlib because we are gonna use it uh, as a model so you can also after this is done you can install pip install dlib and it's gonna finish okay uh, I will not talk about the details you can check there are many examples here and explaining very detailed but I'm gonna directly switch to the code part and I can explain from here because Deep face about the face analysis make the life easy. For example, um, what I'm planning in this video, I have some images. For example, this is my image I just took now. And this is my second image. Okay, this one. So uh, I will open my camera and I want it to verify me. I am really looks like to this reference or this reference. Then also I'm gonna give for uh, Obama picture in here. So it's gonna also compare uh, Obama is looks like me because uh, we are so different. So we are expecting the results should be also the matching score also should uh, be different according. Also, I have a video of Obama in here as you see. Uh, my target also I'm gonna put this video and I'm will try not only me. Uh, not my example only I will try I will also give as input this Obama video and maybe as reference I will give first of all Obama then me like that so it's gonna continue according anyway now we can switch to the code part first of all maybe we can start the this is the first image and the second image is gonna be mine I will not uh, code from the scratch because this is very simple also there are two uh, code part both I'm gonna put this things to my github page so you can check detail okay um, the first image and the second image so all I am doing is just calling deep face verify function the first uh, image the second image and detector backend and the model name what this detector backend is meaning is um, this is gonna be used for the uh, detecting the faces so it's first of all it's needed to be uh, detecting the faces then it's gonna verify uh, two faces they are uh, how uh, similar they are so for this one I'm using dlib because dlib is the I think the best one inside these things uh, I can also show you where is dlib um, I think uh, there is something here uh, this is dlib but this model part so we need to find the one which is for the detector backend uh, maybe you can just search OpenCV or oh, not this one okay this one yeah OpenCV uh, SSD, Dlib, MTCNN, uh, Retina Face, MediaPipe so these things also you can use for backend you can uh, find this list easily from here or somewhere else so you can use some of these OpenCV SSD is really low accuracy about detecting the faces. So Dlib, I'm saying the best one. So if you do not have some problem about the really need about the performance, so Dlib is gonna be working the best one. I uh, I assure you. Okay, this was the detector backend. Also we need uh, for 
other one which is models models are here okay and here uh, first of all uh, again uh, we will see the results but I'm also telling uh, the lip is gonna work again the best uh, I'm just telling but other models also we will try so we can compare the models but uh, I don't want to change the detector backend I'm only gonna change the model uh, for the verifying so this is not important because this is about just detecting the face so I don't need to change here okay and a model name for example let's start with the lip and after that um, it's gonna uh, give the all the results which uh, including all of the coordinates of eyes and kind of maybe I don't need this one all I need just distance of the result uh, this distance is uh, uh, we will see the result also but this distance if short it's gonna meaning it's gonna be meaning about uh, they are really similar images what I mean if this is close to the zero it means uh, they are similar images if it's far to the zero they are different images also uh, maybe we can after that I'm just taking this distance converting to the flood type and just printing the matching score let's try to run this first of all and see how it looks like deep face image and uh, now we are comparing my this image and this image so they are different environment different uh, kind of so they are close to the 0 0.08 so I can say they are uh, close to zero so they are very similar looks like and uh, so we are just in here two result there we are just um, rounding so do, just focus to the last one maybe then uh, maybe we can compare not me by me so let's compare with uh, Obama and see how the results changing now we are expecting it should be bigger than this value yeah 0 0.14 so it uh, by the way for each model the threshold is gonna be different also by trying the other models we are gonna see more clearly what I meaning so this is bigger than this one so you can try some uh, other kind of images in your cases maybe uh, try other faces and find your optimal threshold maybe you can use maybe I can use for 0 0.09 if lower than that uh, this is me and if bigger than that this is a different person so this is for the delip then we can try VGG face which is another model and compare me by me and okay now 0 0.80 so this is really um, high value looks like and let's try Obama so it's 0 0.91 so before still this is bigger and this is smaller 0. Point, uh, what was the previous 0. 0.70 something so it's still bigger so maybe for this case the uh, threshold is gonna be 0. 0.8 let's say so each model that's why what i meaning at the beginning the each model is gonna have a different threshold so if you are using vgg phase and just uh, make some small experimental things then find your optimal uh, threshold value so on, then continue accordingly and this is VGG phase I don't want to try for all because this is taking time by the way this is working in uh, GPU also you can uh, check from here it's using GPU even like this is taking really long time because um, this is for verifying using many algorithms in behind uh, it should be really sure about this is the real person so that's why it's taking time and it's not uh, I think it's not uh, implemented for the real time uh, videos mostly it's just needed to image and image just check these are the same images or not because it's the most important one okay but also I prepared a video example in here um, this is also very similar just uh, 40 line and nothing I'm doing here uh, maybe I can explain to you um, this I'm putting the reference image then I'm capturing my camera video and uh, after that I'm just naming a window to be able to resize and uh, after that I'm starting to read and verifying and just after that I want to uh, draw a rectangle around the face detected face 
so I can see is, uh, which one is trying to give me result and after that all is the same thing I'm getting the face matching score putting text to the window to be able to see and uh, if no face detected I'm just giving a error kind of and after that I'm just uh, showing the window and done that's all uh, don't worry I will also put this code uh, this is very simple code you can also directly copy from my github page anyway um, now uh, I want to compare myself with uh, with my camera stream and I want to use Dlib because I th I'm saying Dlib is the best one then just um, run the code so with uh, Dlib before we took the values between 0.08 kind of let's see now what kind of result is gonna give to me okay it's slow uh, 0 0.05 0 0.0 6 now just assume our threshold is uh, 0.08 let's say so this is really low and it's working fine then I want to change my reference image with this one just make it 2 so this is little different than my current situation and let's see how it's behaving okay I, I i can say it's still giving me good results 0 0.07 0 0.08 also acceptable 9 maybe also acceptable but um yeah i think it's still working fine i can say but now if i give the reference image as obama obama image now give me giving as reference now it's gonna check i'm looks like obama or not now the expected behavior should be different uh, 0 0.09 0 0.11 so uh, at least it's far uh, little bigger than 0 0.08 so I can say this is also acceptable 0 0.11 before we were taking the values around 0 0.08 and 0 0.05 kind of so also uh, you can make some algorithms maybe because we are just giving um, one image as reference you can increase the reference images because uh, maybe you can change little uh, background or even it's taking this part you can change the background so different kind of uh, perspectives you can take the pictures as reference images then comparing with the incoming with the new coming uh, images so you can get more values to decide it's correct or not currently in, uh, in our world they are doing like that but uh, now we can check the Obama with the it's, it's video and just try this one now expected behavior is should be again around 0 0.08 or kind of it should be small yeah you see before with my camera uh, stream it was giving 0 0.11 and 0 0.15 kind of now it's uh, again lower than 0 0.08 so it means uh, the distance is low and they are very similar and um, what else also we can try VGG face how it looks like maybe or something else which we didn't try maybe open face let's try I also didn't try today about open face let's see how it's working open face okay just try Obama first of all okay now it's saying 0 0.40 because it's Obama so uh, for this one maybe the correct one 0 0.42 so Obama for Obama this is yeah 40 50 kind of but if I give the reference image as me so let's now see my expectation is it should be bigger than 0 0.4 let's see yeah it's now 0 0.70 and 71 kind of but even now it's finding um, Biden actually but even Biden not looks like missing yeah so I'm just uh, I didn't uh, do the I didn't update the code for all but even for Obama it's 0 0.6 so bigger than 0 0.4 yeah for Obama is finding correct also this is you can see this is little faster 
if the accuracy is decreasing which is open face is not really good so it's also um, according to the speed is increasing maybe I can show also uh, for the if we back to the delip and maybe for this one okay so run I want to show is using GPU maybe the people how the way even my GPU is uh, RTX uh, 3060 but um, just want to show what was the name system monitor oh not system monitor okay uh, so now it's wor working on the GPU we can call the NVIDIA SMI maybe okay let's make bigger now it's using uh, I think maybe let's run again okay maybe this much is using the GPU and uh, if I close this it's gonna getting to close to the zero yeah so it's using GPU but uh, it's slower because the many things is doing in the behind anyway uh, deep face is very useful tool if you are dealing with the uh, face attributes analysis so it's in inside this it has many features maybe uh, in other videos we can try the uh, other features but today we focus to the verifying verifying is very important and I can assure you the lip uh, is working very good and if you try uh, ID and in your camera inputs it's gonna give perfect results and you are gonna be surprised so um, yeah and for this video I'm gonna put these two small code snaps into my github you can check in there and I'm done thanks for watching